Today we're going to put some siding up, but how to do it 18 feet in the air without a crew. This is the siding right here. It's really heavy and it has to go on this gable end right here. At first I thought I would use three nails to make a place to hang the rope from with the top two nails overlapping the bottom nail to keep the weight of the panel from bending the nail over. The whole apparatus is kind of like a big guillotine and it's a long ways down to the ground, so safety is kind of important. We found out right away that this system was not very good. Just the weight of the rope made the nail pull out of the wall. What the hell happened? <laughs> That was bad. So on the siding, I'm just going to loop the rope through these screws on either side, but just to be on the safe side, we'll put uh, another screw on either side. We tried it out just to see how it worked, and look, we have a piece of siding in place, sort of, but I have the ladder against it now, so that helps hold it in place. With the first full sheet of siding up on the wall resting on the ledge, we decided that the method was good, we just needed a better hook. offered a great way to get tools for the person up on the ladder, too. With a little practice, the pieces almost installed themselves. Pre-priming and painting the siding beforehand, I just had to touch up the edges after we installed them. I really like how these hooks worked. They hold 400 pounds. I think I'll use them for other things in the future. So we got the last piece. With the rope and the loop, we were able to do the whole side pretty easily, and it looks pretty good. Wait, we forgot to bore the hole it's right in the middle. Oh! The nice thing about a country house is everybody sees it from at least 400 feet away. But I'll fill this in. So we did a great job. And from a distance, it looks even better. And from even further away, it looks even better.